All this was generated in vanilla Minecraft with the Minecraft 1.18 Caves and Cliffs data pack. Here's a simple guide on how to download this awesome data pack and get 1.18 in your very own world early with these amazing caves that are just crazy and natural world generation like these amazing cliffs that's just crazy to think that all of this was generated in Minecraft 1.18. So all you have to do is start by launching Minecraft by of course clicking the Minecraft launcher. Now that it's launching, uh, once it's fully launched, all you have to do is right here, here's our normal screen, and right down here it says help us test world generation. You want to press the read more button right here. This will open a Google page right here in whatever your default browser is. If you scroll down through all of this text, uh, here you get what the new changes are in the snapshot 3, uh, but of course this guide should work for any snapshots after this as well, until this goes to um, normal snapshots, not experimental. Anyway, scrolling down here through all those changes and all the other changes through all the th three snapshots so far, we see right here it says download the zip file. Just press that right there. Now uh, there's also a link for this on the Reddit if you want to use that instead. Once it's downloaded, I uh, press show in folder and you'll see here that this downloaded right here under my downloads tab. Now what you want to do is you want to right click on your file explorer to open a second file explorer tab because your first one is on the downloads page. On the second tab here you want to go this PC, then you want to go local disk or wherever Minecraft is saved for you, then you want to go users, then you want to go to whatever your profile is called that you currently are using, which mine is called tutorials, you want to go to app data. Now app data might not show up for you. If it doesn't, press view and then make sure hidden item is enabled because if it isn't then app data will not show up. And you just do that by pressing view and clicking this or not clicking that. Now once app data is shown up, click on that, go to roaming and you'll see Minecraft. Minecraft is saved under roaming. Once you're in there, you'll see all these different file folders. Uh, but the one you want to look for is versions, which is right here. Double click on versions and you'll see some file folders on here. Now what you want to do is you want to go to your download of the experimental snapshot that was in your downloads tab that opened up by going like this or you can also do this by going to the file explorer and pressing downloads here. So when you're double clicking on the zip folder here and looking at what this unzipped version would be, when you drag it out it'll automatically unzip it for you. So all you have to do is go here to versions and have both these up at the same time and then grab this and drag it over to this and let it copy over. It should take 10 seconds there, very very quick. And uh, now that it's in here, uh, we're not done yet. So what you want to do now is you want to X this out. Now you want to go back to Minecraft. You might want to just close it and let it load up again because of course uh, it needs to remember that you put something in its file folder now. And of course you can X out all of your file explorer tabs. Now that it's loaded up, what you want to do is you want to press up your installations right up here. Now you want to press new installation and you want to name it whatever really you could want, but I'll just put 1.18. Now here, right here it'll say version. You want to click this and it'll say pending 1.18 underscore experimental dash snapshot dash 3. Right there, there's a snapshot. Now one more thing you want to do is you want to press more options down here. Right here it says 2G. You actually want to change this to how much ever RAM you can allocate. For instance, this computer right now has 12 gigabytes, so I'm going to allocate 6 gigabytes of RAM. You don't need a whole lot more than 6, uh, but it's always defaulted to 2, so you can make the game run a lot quicker if you allocate more. Now, of course, if your computer has 6 gigabytes of RAM already, allocating 6 would completely mess your computer up, so make sure to never allocate more than, let's say, two-thirds of your RAM. Now press the create button and there it is. Something you can also do too is you can change the icon right up here to whatever you want. Maybe I'll change it to an emerald because I know that emerald generation has been changed a bit in 1.18 or maybe a snow block because of the mountains but of course anything you want. Alright now what you want to do is you want to write down here on Minecraft and of course again clicking back to play you want to click this arrow here or really anywhere here and click 1.18 or whatever you named it and press play. Now they're going to warn you basically that this is a modified save because it is, it's an experimental snapshot, but it is officially put out by Mojang, so it shouldn't hurt your game, it may crash, but it shouldn't, it should be fine, I haven't had any issues with stability myself. So yeah, now it just has to download the additional files for the game, and it's just auto prompt, so there's nothing you have to do with this, so we'll let that download. Now 
So now it's downloaded correctly and you can see it says Minecraft 1.18 Experimental Snapshot 3 slash pending. Every time a new experimental snapshot comes out, you'll have to repeat the exact same process and that link on that page should update every single time there's a new experimental snapshot up until they graduate to normal snapshots. Now when pressing the single player tab, you'll notice that a world that I'd previously created says created in an incompatible version. Basically that means you literally cannot load it up, or you can, but if it does it'll mess it up quite a bit. So you want to do to get a new world that has uh, 1.18 stuff is just press create new world, uh, survival, creative, whatever in the world you want, and just any, again, any settings you want. At this point the seeds basically change every single snapshot, so there's no point really doing anything special there. And of course just creating a new world. Now one difference is when you do this it'll say worlds using experimental settings are not supported. It says this world uses experimental settings that could stop working at any time. We cannot guarantee it will load or work or be dragons. Well, it will work. Obviously, this is made by Mojang, but there's, of course, uh, people that can make, you know, files like this themselves that modify the game in similar ways uh, that could be unsupported. However, this should work fine. So here we are in 1.18. One of the ways of telling that is you can actually see this sand does not cover the entire edge of here. And you can also see that if we go over here, there's this massive cave here, a bit glitchy really, and of course things like this are going to fix themselves out. There's a lot of really cool stuff like this to experience in 1.18, not to mention the massive biomes, the massive mountains, and all kinds of other cool things that you're going to run into. Uh, massive caves like this as well. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video about how to install the snapshots for 1.18 before they graduate to full snapshot phase, uh, make sure to press the like button, subscribe, comment, share, all those other cool things that help out my channel, and uh, make sure to watch my video on a let's play of this I'll be posting hopefully tomorrow, uh, and you guys could explore that too and kind of take a look at all the cool things I'm doing in 1.18 snapshots. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video and have a good day. Goodbye!